Tonight, a summer camp counselor at the Rochester Hills Lifetime Fitness Gym is on life support. 21-year-old Christine Malter was hospitalized earlier this week and diagnosed with bacterial meningitis. The Oakland County Department of Health has warned that 213 kids may have been exposed while attending camp at the gym between July 1st and the 11th. Guy Gordon joins us now with the very latest. Guy? Uh, guys, normally we would have a stream of cars packed with kids after pickup from this program. We did see some kids today, but we were told by members that the pool was deserted. So uh, not many kids attending today. We did reach out to Christie's family. They said they are just uh, too devastated to speak about this. But we did talk to one mother who is all too familiar with this horrible disease. She says it is stealthy, masquerading as other illnesses, and it's also devastatingly fast takes me back to when my son died. I mean, I just, that one word, meningitis, because I can't help but go there. Denise Kopp's 19-year-old son, Trevor, was struck down a mere seven hours after entering the hospital. The college students' classmates were all down with the flu, and that was the hospital's unfortunate diagnosis. If I had taken my son to the doctor or the emergency room an hour before, they told me they would have sent us home. 213 families are dealing with the prospect this swift disease could potentially strike their children. Every day. He goes every single day. You have to look at for um, signs until July 21st. The health department says at this point, there's no evidence the infection has spread. There is no child or employee that is symptomatic. The department and Denise say vigilance for early symptoms is essential. It's swift and aggressive and it's an insidious disease. It's always there. It doesn't you can't run away from that. It's it's life. This happened when Trevor was attending Georgia Tech 17 years ago. And as you can tell for Denise, the wound is uh, still very fresh. She wants to encourage parents to consider this meningitis. There's two of them, meningitis vaccines that are out there, especially before you send your kid to college. But they're available for children as young as 11 or 12. Uh, we did ask the health department if Christy had that vaccine. They don't know at this point whether she did or not. Central Michigan University uh, recommends but does not mandate the vaccine. They're going to circle back and find out if she had obtained it. We're live from Rochester. I'm Guy Gordon, Local 4. Back horrible, to you. Horrible, horrible story. All right. Thank you, Guy.